Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for wanting to break up with my boyfriend because of a cat. So, I'm 28, and I've been dating my boyfriend, who's 30, for about four years now. We live together and I have a cat, so naturally, the cat lives with us too. I had the cat long before we met, and my boyfriend seemed cool with it. He knew moving in with me meant living with the cat, and he didn't seem to have a problem with that at first. Overall, our relationship is really solid, except for this one issue. He's never lived with a cat before, so when he moved in, I gave him a quick rundown on some basic things like, don't let her lick garlic, and don't bring home lilies. I didn't make a big deal out of it, I just thought it was important for him to know. But over time, it's become clear that he doesn't really listen to me when it comes to these things. He leaves out bowls of food that contain garlic or other things that are toxic to cats. I'm not talking about just a few hours. I mean he leaves them out on the table or counter, uncovered, overnight. Whenever I see it, I clean up the dishes myself. But every so often, I try to remind him that it's not safe for the cat, especially with things like chocolate or citrus. I even go as far as asking him to just throw the dishes in the sink if he doesn't want to wash them. Honestly, I feel like I'm being really chill about this, but it's starting to get under my skin, because this is the one thing I've asked him to be mindful of, and he just won't do it. What bothers me most is his laid-back attitude. He'll just shrug and say, my bad, I won't do it again, but then he does. Anyway, the final straw happened this past weekend when he threw a party to celebrate his promotion at work. One of his co-workers brought over a bouquet of flowers that included lilies. Lilies are deadly to cats. I'm guessing she didn't know we had a cat, and that's fine, I don't blame her. We thanked her for the flowers and I put them in a vase. After everyone left, I told my boyfriend that I was uncomfortable having lilies in the house and that we should keep them outside on the back patio or something. I even pulled up an article on Google explaining how just a few crumbs of lily pollen can kill a cat. They don't even have to eat the flower, they just have to brush past it. He asked if he could keep the flowers in our bedroom and just keep the door closed. I said sure, but he had to keep the door closed at all times to keep the cat safe. He said he understood. Well, it's been a week. And while he's mostly remembered to keep the door closed, I've had to shut it a few times myself because he forgot. Today, I came home from work, and he was sitting in the living room playing video games with the bedroom door wide open. I ran to the bedroom, and my cat was up on the dresser playing with the flowers. I freaked out, took her away from the flowers, shut the door, and started inspecting her for any signs of pollen. I was shaking. I called the emergency vet, not knowing if she had eaten any or if it was just on her fur. My boyfriend asked what was wrong and I said, the bedroom door was open. All he said was, oh, sorry. At that point, I finally got mad. I told him that I didn't know if I could be in this relationship anymore if he couldn't take me seriously. He argued that it was stupid to consider ending our relationship over a cat. I think my cat is going to be fine, but it's too soon to know for sure. Lilies can kill cats within seven days, so I won't know for a week if she's truly safe. But honestly, it's not just about the cat. I feel like I've asked for really simple things and explained why they're important, but he doesn't seem to think they're worth remembering. I don't know if he doesn't take me seriously, if he thinks this cat stuff isn't actually dangerous, or if he just doesn't care. I'm fed up. His constant coolness and lack of concern make me feel like I might be the crazy one here, am I? But at the same time, I don't think I'm asking for much. I just wanted him to put dirty dishes in the sink or dishwasher and keep our bedroom door closed for one week while we had his flowers in the room. It's really not that hard. I don't understand why he refuses to put in more effort to remember these things. I can't tell if he's being intentionally negligent, or if he's just stupid. It breaks my heart, because this is literally one of our only disagreements, but it's obviously deeper than just the cat. What do you think? As I sit here reflecting on everything that's happened, I can't help but replay the last four years in my mind, trying to figure out where it all started to go wrong. When we first got together, I thought I had found the perfect partner. He was charming, considerate, and always made me feel like I was the most important person in the world. We had similar interests, enjoyed spending time together, and shared many of the same values. I remember thinking that this was the person I could see myself spending the rest of my life with. But now, I'm beginning to question whether that was ever really true, or if I just ignored the red flags because I was so in love. Before he moved in, I was fully prepared for the adjustments we'd have to make as a couple living together. I knew it wouldn't be easy, 
but I was committed to making it work. We talked about how we'd divide chores, manage finances, and handle conflicts. I even thought ahead about the potential challenges of him living with my cat, since he'd never had a pet cat before. I explained to him that cats are different from dogs, that they're more independent but also more sensitive in some ways. I went over the basics, like how garlic, chocolate, and certain flowers are toxic to cats, thinking that would be enough to make him aware and cautious. He assured me he understood, and I believed him. But once we started living together, little things began to bother me. At first I brushed them off as minor annoyances, figuring we were just getting used to each other's habits. He'd leave his dirty dishes on the counter, and I'd gently remind him to put them in the sink, explaining again that it wasn't safe for the cat. I thought it was just a matter of adjusting to a new routine, but as time went on, I noticed that he never seemed to take these requests seriously. No matter how many times I asked or how many times I explained the risks, he continued to do what he wanted, as if my concerns didn't matter. As time passed, this pattern kept repeating itself. I would bring up something that was important to me, he'd shrug it off, and I'd end up feeling more and more frustrated. It wasn't just about the cat anymore, it was about everything. It was about the way he would forget to take out the trash, even after I'd asked him three times. It was about how he'd leave his clothes all over the floor and then act surprised when I got upset about it. It was about how he never seemed to take any responsibility for the little things that kept our home running smoothly, and how that made me feel like I was carrying the weight of the relationship on my own. In that moment, everything I'd been holding in for the past four years came pouring out. I yelled at him for being irresponsible, for not listening to me, for putting our cat's life in danger. I told him that I didn't know if I could stay in a relationship with someone who didn't respect me enough to take my concerns seriously. And do you know what his response was? He just shrugged and said, it's just a cat. That was when I knew we were done. It wasn't just about the cat, it was about everything. It was about how he never seemed to take anything I said seriously, how he never seemed to care about the things that mattered to me, how he always brushed off my concerns, as if they were unimportant. I realized that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with someone who made me feel like I was overreacting for wanting to protect the things I cared about. I deserve to be with someone who respects me, who listens to me, and who values what I value. Breaking up with him isn't going to be easy. I still love him, and a part of me wishes things could be different. But I can't keep making excuses for him. I can't keep telling myself that he'll change, that he'll start listening, that he'll start caring. I've given him four years to show me that he's capable of being the partner I need, and he's shown me that he's not. So yeah, I'm breaking up with him because of a cat. But really, it's not just about the cat, it's about everything the cat represents. It's about respect, trust, and the willingness to put in the effort for the things that matter. And if he can't do that, then I have to move on. For my sake, and for the sake of my cat. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.